In a world overwhelmed by constant noise and haste, finding ways to stand out and forge genuine connections might seem daunting. Yet what if I told you that the key to a magnetic presence isn't in the loudness of your voice, but in the subtlety of your being? This video is an invitation to uncover together the secrets of a silent charm, one that ensures your presence is noticed and remembered, even in the quietest spaces. We'll delve into practices and habits that highlight the beauty of authenticity, nonverbal communication, personal style, the perfect choice of fragrance, refined etiquette, and much more. All of this to accentuate what's already unique in you in a subtle yet deeply appealing way. If you're looking for ways to amplify your allure without uttering a single word, you've come to the right place. This is the moment to connect with these transformative practices and soak in the knowledge that can change how the world sees you and feels your presence. Before we dive into this realm of silent attraction, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. This way, you won't miss any of our content designed specifically to help you cultivate a richer life and more meaningful connections. Are you ready to transform your presence into something unforgettable? Let's go. Embracing authenticity. At the heart of the human journey, embracing authenticity emerges as a singular odyssey, outlining the contour of being in its purest essence. Authenticity, far from being a mere characteristic or superficial adornment, stands as the ultimate expression of an individual's internal truth a living manifesto of their inalienable convictions and values. In this context, being authentic is not just an act of standing out in a crowd for uniqueness. It's a brave invitation to dive deep into oneself, emerging not with a mask shaped by others' expectations, but with the true face carved by unique experiences and personal beliefs. This process of self-discovery and self-affirmation is neither linear nor free of challenges. On the contrary, it requires constant introspection and resilient courage to remain true to one's essence, even when the storms of doubt and conformity attempt to divert the course. Therefore, authenticity attracts like a beacon those who value sincerity and depth, not just as admirable qualities, but as fundamental pillars for building meaningful human relationships. These connections, rooted in mutual trust and reciprocal respect, transcend the superficiality of everyday interactions, creating bonds that are both safe havens and spaces for mutual growth and inspiration. When genuineness manifests in the way one lives and interacts with the world, it not only strengthens an individual's image in society, it redefines the concept of social influence. Far from being a matter of numbers or ephemeral popularity, true influence is measured by the lasting impact an authentic being can have on the hearts and minds around them, inspiring others to also embark on their own quests for authenticity. Expressing oneself through fashion, clothing, this fabric of silent manifestations unfolds as a vast field of self-expression, where each selected piece, each adopted color, and each chosen texture becomes a narrative fragment of the identity of the wearer. In the realm of fashion, far from being a mere exercise in vanity or conformity, the act of dressing transforms into an intimate dialogue with the world a way to communicate without words the unique essence of each being. In this context, fashion transcends its utilitarian function of covering the body, assuming the role of personal language, a visual alphabet composed of choices and preferences that reflect not just the personality, but also the life narratives, beliefs and values of the individual. Thus, the choice of clothes is not based on the impulse to follow ephemeral trends, but on the deliberate intention to communicate to the world who you are, to reveal, through fabrics and forms, the complexity and richness of your inner being. 
Selecting garments that resonate with your body type and personality is not just an act of self-affirmation, but also an exercise in self-awareness and confidence. By aligning your outer expression with your inner truth, you not only present yourself to the world authentically, but also attract individuals and opportunities that resonate with your essence. This alignment creates a visible harmony between being and appearing, between identity and the projected image, strengthening self-perception and presence in the world. Moreover, as a vehicle of expression, fashion offers an infinite space for experimentation and discovery, allowing each individual to explore different facets of themselves and play with the multiplicity of identities that make up their self. Each clothing choice, each unusual combination, each touch of color or pattern, not only tells a story, but also invites the observer to dive into the depths of that personal narrative, promoting a richer and more nuanced understanding of the human behind the look. Refining nonverbal communication. In the vast universe of human interaction, communication transcends the boundaries of the verbal, navigating the deep and often turbulent waters of the unsaid. Nonverbal communication, composed of a symphony of postures, facial expressions, gestures and gazes, acts as a silent mirror of the soul, reflecting not just our deepest feelings and intentions, but also our receptiveness to the outside world. Posture, the backbone of nonverbal communication, speaks volumes without uttering a single word. An upright and open stance not only boosts our own sense of confidence, but also conveys a message of strength and openness to dialogue, inviting others to interact with a positive disposition. Similarly, facial expressions, those instant portraits of our emotional states, serve as bridges of empathy, allowing a deeper understanding of feelings and predispositions. Eye contact, in turn, is the thread that connects two beings in a moment of true communication, a direct channel to the soul that can express sincerity, interest, and mutual respect. The ability to maintain appropriate eye contact, neither evasive nor intrusive, is crucial for establishing a genuine connection, an expression of full presence and dedicated attention to the speaker. Adjusting and refining these non-verbal signals is an art that requires not just self-awareness, but also a keen sensitivity to the nuances of human interaction. Such refinement is not about manipulating others' perceptions, but enhancing the quality of our presence in the world, making it more congruent with our intentions and values. By harmonizing our non-verbal communication with our inner voice, we become more authentic and consequently more attractive and approachable in the eyes of others. This process of enhancement is not a destination, but a continuous journey of self-exploration and adjustment, where each gesture, each look, each expression is an opportunity to connect more deeply with others and with oneself. Refining non-verbal communication is therefore an exercise in empathy and authenticity, a pursuit of balance between expressing our essence clearly and welcoming the world with openness and availability. Standing out with etiquette, in the intricate theater of social interactions, etiquette and good manners emerge as the subtle yet powerful instruments of a harmonious orchestration. Far from being mere archaic formalities or meaningless rituals, etiquette and good manners are the silent language of respect and consideration a delicate choreography that navigates the complexities of human relations with dignity and grace. Practicing etiquette is, at its core, a demonstration of respect for others. It's an acknowledgement of others' sensitivities, a willingness to adjust one's behavior to provide comfort and well-being to those around us. This sensitivity to details in social situations not only facilitates smooth interaction among individuals from diverse backgrounds and beliefs, but also weaves the fabric of a more kind and respectful coexistence. 
Thus, demonstrating good etiquette is not just about following rules or adhering to social conventions. It's a sign of personal refinement and an acute awareness of the nuances of human coexistence. A person who stands out for their etiquette and good manners is immediately recognized as someone who values social harmony and possesses a deep understanding of interpersonal interactions. This perception not only elevates their status in the eyes of others, but also draws esteem and admiration towards them. Opening doors to more meaningful and profound connections, more than merely enhancing social attraction, the conscious practice of etiquette is a testament to the elegance of the soul. It is the outward expression of an internal kindness and a genuine desire to contribute to an environment where everyone feels valued and respected. Thus, by adopting good manners and showing attention to details in our interactions, we stand out not just for superficial elegance, but for the substance of our character, reflecting a beauty that transcends appearances and touches the heart of human relationships. In this sense, Standing out with etiquette is an invitation to reflect on the role each of us plays in building a more civilized and kind society. It is a personal journey towards a deeper understanding of the value of mutual respect and consideration for the needs and feelings of others. A path that leads us to be recognized not just for our presence, but for the quality and integrity of our interaction with the world. If you're enjoying the teachings, don't forget to leave your perspective in the comments. I'm curious to know your opinion. Let's continue. Being present in the fleeting landscape of our daily lives, marked by a constant barrage of distractions and an incessant pursuit of productivity, the act of being truly present stands out as an oasis of authenticity and human connection. Being present in its purest essence means more than just occupying a physical space. It's about fully immersing in the shared moment, offering our complete attention to the people we interact with. This full commitment to the here and now is an act of appreciation, a silent but eloquent statement that the time and shared experience are valuable. The practice of presence especially in an era defined by the fragmentation of attention, transforms into a form of resistance, a return to the fundamentals of human interaction, where listening is not just hearing what is said, but also understanding the unsaid, perceiving the emotions that permeate the words and recognizing our shared humanity. Active listening goes beyond mere hearing, it's an active engagement, an energetic exchange that validates the other, making them feel seen and heard in their entirety. This form of communication builds bridges, breaks down barriers and nourishes relationships for when someone feels truly listened to. A space of trust and openness is created, allowing for a deeper and more meaningful connection. Moreover, the ability to engage in conversations without falling into the distractions trap, whether they are physical, like the constant allure of electronic devices, or mental, like the preponderance of thoughts about the past or future, indicates respect and consideration. It shows a willingness to value not just the shared words, but also the time and presence of the other, an immeasurably valuable resource in our fast-paced era. Being present not only enhances our social perception, making us more attractive and accessible in the eyes of others, it also enriches us internally, allowing us to experience life more fully and consciously. By cultivating presence, we open ourselves to the subtleties and riches of human interactions, finding beauty and meaning in details that might otherwise go unnoticed. Not revealing everything about yourself. In the complex tapestry of human relationships, the act of sharing oneself emerges as a subtle art, balancing on the fine line between genuine openness and the preservation of a sacred inner space. 
Maintaining a certain veil of mystery around oneself is not a game of hide-and-seek with the truth, but a deliberate choice to weave one's narrative with care and consideration, allowing self-revelation to occur not as a flood, but as a serene stream that gradually unveils its depths. This careful selection of what to share serves not only as a guardian of our own vulnerability, but also as an invitation to curiosity, to genuine interest. Contrary to the notion of absolute transparency, which can paradoxically dilute the essence of connection, mystery summons exploration, a desire to know the other more deeply. It suggests that beneath the known surface, there are layers yet undiscovered, uncharted territories, promising to enrich the shared journey with discoveries and revelations. Thus, selectively sharing oneself is an organic process of relational building, where each piece of personal history shared is a stone laid upon the foundation of trust. This strategy of gradual revelation allows relationships to blossom at their own pace, nurturing a mutual interest that grows and deepens over time. Hence, the depth of attraction is not based solely on the quantity of information shared, but on the quality of the connection that forms as each new layer is revealed. Consequently, cultivating an element of mystery is not an act of hiding or deception, but a celebration of human complexity. It acknowledges that we are multifaceted entities, each with a rich history and nuances that cannot be fully grasped in a single moment or meeting. This approach not only preserves individuality and respect for one's psychological and emotional space, but also values the gradual nature of getting to know someone, honoring the mutual discovery process as a fundamental aspect of intimacy. Moreover, by maintaining a certain degree of mystery, we encourage the continuation of dialogue and exchange, keeping the flame of curiosity and fascination alive. This subtle play of revealing and concealing, of knowing and being known, enriches the fabric of relationships, adding a dimension of depth and complexity that promises not only to keep attraction alive, but also to foster deeper respect and understanding as each layer of mystery is carefully unveiled. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the opportunity. Purchase the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. Developing literary culture. Immersion into a universe of letters and knowledge. The development of a literary culture is, inherently, an endless journey through distant lands, past eras, and multifaceted perspectives. By delving into the exploration of cultures through literature, languages, and the diligent following of current affairs, we arm ourselves not only with knowledge, but with the necessary lenses to appreciate the richness of human diversity. This literary journey transcends mere acquisition of facts or passive consumption of narratives. It's a continuous dialogue with the world, a way to establish intimate connections with the infinite facets of the human experience. Cultivating a curious mind, one that delights in discovering new concepts and strives to understand the nuances of different cultures and languages, is to cultivate a soul that resonates in harmony with the vast spectrum of life. Demonstrating familiarity with a broad range of subjects is not merely a display of erudition, but a sign of respect for the complexity of the world and its myriad voices. It's an acknowledgement that each culture, each language, each current event contributes an essential piece to the mosaic of global understanding. This openness and respect for diversity not only enrich the fabric of our conversations, making them more vibrant and nuanced, but also expand our circle of empathy, allowing us to embrace perspectives beyond our immediate experiences. By integrating diverse knowledge into our interactions, we not only capture the interest of our interlocutors, 
but also build bridges over the chasms of ignorance and unawareness. Each conversation becomes an opportunity for sharing and discovery, a space where appreciation for differences translates into mutual enrichment. The intellectual attraction that emanates from this is not based on mere display of knowledge, but on the ability to engage, question, and reflect together on the complex tapestry of the world. Thus, developing a literary culture is a way of preparing for global citizenship, an exercise in building a broader and more inclusive awareness. In this process, we not only become more interesting and informed conversationalists, but also more complete human beings, capable of navigating the world with a refined sensitivity to the beauty of diversity and the wealth of human knowledge, showing empathy and compassion. At the pulsating heart of human relationships, empathy and compassion emerge as vital forces, delicate webs that weave the essence of what it means to be truly connected with another being. Empathy, the ability to put oneself in another's shoes, to feel with the heart and understand with the mind the world from someone else's perspective, is the fertile ground where compassion blooms. Together, these qualities not only bring people closer, but also create a safe space where emotions can be shared without fear of judgment, where vulnerability is seen not as weakness, but as an invitation to deeper connection. Demonstrating empathy and compassion is, in many ways, a celebration of shared humanity, an acknowledgement of the struggles, joys, sorrows, and hopes that shape the human experience. By offering our understanding and support, we validate the feelings of others, affirming that no one needs to walk through their tribulations alone. This act of sharing and understanding emotions strengthens interpersonal bonds, building bridges of trust and intimacy that withstand the storms of adversity. The warmth and understanding emanated by the practice of empathy and compassion light up one's ability to cultivate meaningful relationships. In this context, meaningful goes beyond the superficial, reaching a level of connection where mutual support, unconditional acceptance and joint growth become the pillars of the relationship. It's a recognition that, at our core, we all seek to be understood, valued and loved, and that through empathy and compassion, we can offer and receive these priceless gifts. More than virtues to be admired, empathy and compassion are practices to be lived daily, woven into the small and large interactions that compose our lives. They challenge us to look beyond our own needs and desires, to listen not only to what is said, but also to what is silenced, to act not out of obligation, but driven by a genuine desire to alleviate the suffering of others. Embracing humor. Humor, that spark of lightness amidst the density of everyday life, plays a transcendental role in the art of weaving human connections. Far from being a mere accessory in communication, humor is a bridge that unites, a solvent capable of dissolving the barriers we often erect around ourselves, whether due to shyness, reserve, or simply discomfort in the presence of others. By incorporating humor into our interactions, we not only facilitate the flow of communication, but also infuse warmth and humanity into exchanges, creating an environment where authenticity and openness thrive. The beauty of humor lies in its universality and, at the same time, its personalization. It's not necessary to aspire to be the most hilarious person in a gathering, to reap the benefits of this wonderful social tool. Well-placed comments, insightful observations wrapped in lightness, are enough to brighten the environment, enhancing perceived affability and accessibility. Well-applied humor does not seek to ridicule or diminish the other, but rather to celebrate our common humanity with all its imperfections and quirks. The ability to laugh together, to share a moment of genuine joy, is a powerful affirmation of connection. It creates common ground, 
a shared memory that serves as the foundation for deeper and more enduring relationships. In this sense, humor becomes not just a vehicle for breaking the initial ice, but also for building continually desirable companionship. People naturally gravitate towards those who can bring lightness and joy to their lives, especially in times that may seem weighed down by worries and stresses. However, it's worth noting that effective humor is one that resonates with the audience's sensitivity and circumstances. It requires a keen reading of the environment and an understanding of the boundaries of what is appropriate and what can be shared, demonstrating not just social intelligence, but also a care and respect for others' feelings. Thus, the skill of employing humor in an appropriate and inclusive manner is an art that, when mastered, immensely enriches social interactions. Taking good care of yourself. In the vast panorama of everyday life, where demands and challenges intertwine in a complex fabric of responsibilities, self-care emerges as a beacon of self-esteem and resilience. This act of taking care of oneself is not a mere luxury or an act of indulgence, but a fundamental necessity, an acknowledgement of the importance of maintaining balance and harmony between body and mind. By prioritizing self-care, we equip ourselves with the necessary tools to navigate the sometimes turbulent waters of existence with grace and vigor. Taking good care of yourself encompasses a wide range of practices, from proper nutrition and regular physical activity to moments of quietude and inner reflection. These seemingly simple actions are powerful acts of self-worth affirmation, demonstrating a commitment to one's health and well-being. This commitment reflects not only in an optimized state of health, but also in a tangible increase in mood, energy and liveliness, essential components of a magnetic and attractive presence. By caring for physical health, we nourish the body with what it needs to function at its best, allowing vital energy to flow freely, rejuvenating every cell and movement. Similarly, by caring for mental health, we cultivate an inner garden of peace and resilience where the flowers of self-acceptance and positivity can bloom. This balance between body and mind translates into a radiant appearance and an aura of well-being that naturally attracts people, creating a vibration that invites interaction and connection. Therefore, self-care is much more than a personal maintenance act. It's a declaration of intent, a testimony to the ongoing journey of growth and self-improvement. By investing time and energy in taking care of ourselves, we send a clear message to the world that we value our existence and are committed to living the most fulfilling and vibrant life possible. More than that, Self-care inspires others to recognize the importance of taking care of themselves, acting as a beacon that lights the way to shared well-being. In a society often marked by burnout and self-care neglect, choosing self-care is a revolutionary act, a step toward a more sustainable culture of health and happiness. Thus, by fully embracing the practice of self-care, we not only benefit individually, but also contribute to creating an environment where vitality and well-being are valued and promoted. Taking good care of yourself, therefore, is an essential key to unlocking a richer and more meaningful existence, both for oneself and for those with whom we share our journey. Hello. Take a moment to leave your thoughts about our content in the comments including tips on what we can improve and what you like most about our content. I'm grateful for each and every one of you who connect with our channel daily. And I want to add even more value for you, so I'm counting on your feedback. Not being available all the time, navigating the delicate dynamics of human relationships, the art of balancing accessibility with preserving space for independence and self-respect, 
becomes a crucial element in cultivating healthy and meaningful relationships. This balance is not a game of artificial scarcity, but a genuine expression of valuing one's own time and energy, recognizing that presence, both physical and emotional, is a precious and finite resource. By choosing not to be available all the time, you signal a deep respect for yourself and your needs, establishing healthy boundaries that not only protect your well-being, but also enhance the perception of value around your time and presence. This act of self-valuation creates a sense of appreciation and anticipation in relationships, turning every shared moment into a richer and more deeply valued experience. Maintaining a balance between being accessible and cultivating one's independence is, therefore, a delicate dance that requires awareness and intentionality. It means recognizing the importance of nurturing interpersonal relationships while honoring the need for personal space for growth, reflection and renewal. This balance not only improves the quality of interactions, but also strengthens self-esteem and autonomy essential components for building an authentic and magnetic presence. Additionally, by consciously managing your availability, you invite others to reflect on the importance of respecting and valuing someone else's time and energy, promoting a culture of reciprocity and mutual respect. This approach to conscious and respectful interaction enriches the fabric of relationships creating an environment where each individual's company is seen as a gift to be valued, not an inexhaustible resource to be taken for granted. I hope this has been as enriching for you as it was for us to prepare it. Now, we want to hear from you. Which practices will you adopt to enhance your silent charm? Comment below, share your experiences and ideas. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel to continue your journey of evolution with us. Don't stop here. Choose one of the videos on the screen to move forward. Thank you for watching and see you next time.